Welcome to a video about Enterprise Resource Planning Systems, a level 5 unit, uh, U23849, also known as ERPS. Uh, while you watch this video, remember that you can pause it at any time to have a look at the detail on each of the slides which uh, I'm showing. So let's have a look at what the unit is about. Um, well, it's aimed at giving you the skills to be able to manage a business. Um, that's the the main thrust of it. So in the first half of the course, you'll be using Microsoft Excel. Uh, you'll create analytical models uh, and decision support systems, and you'll be assessed on having provided one of those. Um, You'll also gain skills in uh, resource planning using the very latest software, uh, ERP software. It's actually SAP S4 HANA ERP system. Um, and that will enable you to make decisions better and also the skills are very much in demand. Uh, the other thing to note is that there is a unit at level 6 uh, known as Business Intelligence U21807 and uh, if you uh, once you've taken this unit then you can go on and, and do more business modeling data analysis at level 6 if you choose to do so as an option uh, so understanding the enterprise that's one of the things that we try to show you uh, so the first half of the course is devoted to gaining advanced Excel modeling skills and the second half will show you the theory and practice behind enterprise resource planning it's used by Vodafone, BP, Burberry, Porsche to run their operations so you'll have some real world skills that uh, are in demand from lots of companies and that's just a few of them these skills will allow you to become a business or data analyst uh, a financial professional to work in sales or consulting logistics or procurement and our aim is to make you very employable uh, those skills are very much in demand at the moment so you'll gain skills in Excel and SAP ERP um, you will develop a business planning tool in groups in the first half of the course which will include an analytical model and an associated report and in the second half you will use the market leading ERP software SAP S4 HANA, it's their very latest cloud-based ERP system, giving you those skills that companies want graduates to have. Um, so what kinds of things will you do using uh, Microsoft Excel? Uh, well, here's a typical application that's been made by um, Microsoft Excel. It's a mortgage calculator, and as you can see, it has data entry fields, uh, result fields, uh, embedded graphs and charts, uh, a data table up on the right-hand side here. Uh, it's got buttons uh, with macros behind them. And so that this is what's called the analytical model. You'll create that in Excel. Um, you, you'll be using tables, ranges, macros, charts, formatting, uh, the data tables and a, a nice attractive interface uh, this is what we're looking for um, so quite a lot of uh, skills built over, over time producing one of these models ERP uh, that's enterprise resource planning runs global business uh, for uh, quite a few companies um, and as companies grow Spreadsheets, which we will have told you about in the first half, are no longer suitable for business planning as they lack an ability to consolidate data or deal with operations in multiple countries. So you'll learn about the benefits of moving towards an enterprise-wide software system uh, such as ERP. And you'll learn what you can do with ERP and how you, uh, that is selected and implemented. You'll also learn about the need to change company culture and to manage large projects uh, because ERP projects are um, fairly far reaching and therefore need well, uh, careful handling and project management. 
and we'll show you some examples of good and bad practice that have happened in the past. So we'll look at various types of ERP. Although we are in the SAP University Alliance and our workshops and labs are run using SAP software, uh, there are competitors. Uh, Oracle is at Reading. Um, so, um, and that's another big rival to SAP. You have Microsoft Dynamics, which is the ERP arm of Microsoft. Infor, NetSuite, which has just been bought by Oracle, and Epicor. And Sage also does ERP systems. So we'll look at what an ERP system is, and um, then you can we'll, we'll look through the market and see w where it's available from. Um, if you're considering doing a placement after year two, you'll be interested to know that both SAP and Oracle offer 50 placements each per year. So there's 100 placements in the areas within this software company. And it doesn't mean to say that those placements are only uh, for programming uh, or software creation. They also have just as many positions in sales, pre-sales, customer service, uh, financials, uh, a whole load of different areas. Um, Portsmouth students are always successful in gaining some of these uh, placements, so definitely consider that if you're thinking about a placement. SAP is a German company. In 2016, it had sales of 22 billion euros globally. Um, uh, it's also an equal employer, uh, equal opportunities employer. So. Um, if you're female, you get exactly the same pay as men in this company, which is, I suppose, is in some places is unusual. Uh, we run a coach trip to SAP each year, um, usually in February, uh, February, March time. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. It's free. Um, here are some of SAP's customers. So you can see these uh are some of the largest companies in the world all running sap erp to run their business uh, in fact sap supports the operations of 75 percent of companies in the global uh 2000 index uh, forbes um sap's role is to use enterprise software to help its customers do what they do better and so that's why you don't necessarily hear about sap because it serves its customers who you do hear about. So we'll do some practice with SAP. You'll be given a, a workbook, lab workbook. Um, there's tutor support in the lab and uh, we basically support you as you undertake case studies. Um, at the bottom left there you can see the interface which is won a red dot award and um, uh, so you'll learn some great skills in areas of um, financial accounting, but also in sales and distribution, in production planning, um, management accounting, um, so a range of skills. So if we look at one particular, this is the order to cash process. Um, and all the blue squares are sales and distribution, so creating a customer inquiry, quotation, order, shipping the product, etc. Uh, you've got materials management or procurement for checking stock status, posting goods issues and that kind of thing. And financials are involved when the invoice is sent um, or received. Uh, sent, yes. Uh, so that's ERP. So let's look at the teaching. Um, resources uh, on the unit. So the lecture program uh, will cover all of the above lectures and even if you have no IT background after doing this unit you'll get a good understanding of how business is now driven by analytics and the latest technology. Uh, the items in the blue squares provide the background to analyze a business using an Excel planning tool so you can build one. Uh, we also cover the green square showing how a company needs to adapt and uh, take up ERP as it grows. And um, we look at that transition. We look at how business is being transformed by new technologies like the Internet of Things, blockchain, machine learning and artificial intelligence. And you'll gain wide ranging knowledge of how businesses can run better using model 
systems developments. So come, come and have a look at that. Um, you can probably pause to have a look at that. Here is the lab practicals program. So in the first half of the course, we uh, the labs, by the way, are two hours each. Uh, so tables, ranges, databases, um, subtotals, validation. So a whole load of things building up to the skills you need to build the planning tool, business planning tool, that's your model and report. And then in the second half, uh, we cover S4 HANA, um, sales and distribution, materials management, production planning, financial accounting and management accounting using SAP S4 HANA. So how will you be assessed? Uh, well, there's no exam, it's two courseworks, uh, coursework one and two or assignment one and two. They're weighted 50% each. Uh, so effectively the first half of the course is, is um, passed um, by you as part of a group. Uh, so you work in a group to create the planning tool and associate your report. Um, and you have to describe the need it fulfills and what the planning tool actually, how it works. The work created is submitted to Moodle in February. The second assignment involves you writing an individual report describing how a company evolves over time to employ the best enterprise systems to support current business needs. You'll need to take some screen dumps of your ERP lab work and include it in the report to illustrate certain aspects of business processes. The second assignment written by each student is also uploaded to Moodle, but not until the end of March. Uh, so this gives you time, a lot of time really, to complete the work uh, so that clashes with deadlines of other units are avoided. So we try to be as flexible as possible. Um, so have a look at that assessment. Just to emphasize, uh, assignment one is a planning tool, model and report. It's worth 50% due in early February. You build a business modeling tool, business planning tool. Um, the second assignment is the business report fit worth 50%. That's an individual assignment. You fully reference the report in Word and with embedded ERP work examples, screen dumps from your lab work with an explanation of what that was about. So look at your learning resources, uh, tutors, next gen rooms, books and Moodle, etc. Um, so the teaching team first off, um, we're the core teaching team and um, I'm myself, David Starkey, and then Dr. Alla, Drs. Ella Garrett and Catherine James, or Kate James. Um, and um, we're a very friendly team, and we will do our best to help you get the best out of the unit. We spend most of our time either in the uh, Design Thinking Studio, Tool Studio 1 in Richmond, Floor 2, uh, where you'll where the lectures will take place and discussions and then we use the SAP labs down on floor one for um, the Excel work and also SAP RP workshops uh, so that's basically where you'll be doing your work most of the time there's a book which we get you to buy the great things about this book are it's the best resource on Excel that I've found anywhere. Uh, it only costs £17, which for a book that's about over an inch thick and A4 size and beautifully indexed, uh, it's really a very good book. And we work through that um, in the first half of the course. There's also a supporting set of videos which gives you additional support uh, available with this book. Um, in the second half, we provide you with lab workbooks printed in color for free. Um, they're wire bound, so they're easy to lie flat. They don't take up too much desk space, so we thought about that. Uh, make it easy to, to use. So some future opportunities, get skilled and accredited. Uh, you'll have an extracurricular study opportunity that you can uh, used to get certified in one of the SAP applications if you chose to do so. Uh, you pay an annual subscription once, um, you get 12 months access to as many courses as you can do, such as in areas of ERP, financial, supply chain, data modeling, um, using databases, human capital management or human resource management, that kind of thing. 
but there's a lot more that you could choose. So to become accredited, uh, there is SAP Learning Hub. Uh, you pay about £200 for unlimited access for a year. Uh, so it really is quite a good deal. And there's some videos there. If you type those into a browser, it'll tell you all about them. There are also free courses on what's called Open SAP or Open at SAP. This is their uh, SAP's MOOC. Uh, there are absolutely loads of courses on there. You can either uh, take part in the course while it's running or you can do a self-paced course. If you do it while it's running, then you get a certificate of uh, completion at the end if you pass the test. There are, there's a one hour test at the end to pick up the knowledge you've gained. Really well worth having a look at. Um, lots of skills there, and as I say, all for free. Uh, thinking about what you would do in the future, just think about salaries. Um, uh, for example, a uh, sales executive uh, earns £87,000. A sales associate intern at SAP would earn something in the region of about £17,500 to start with. Um, if you're a sales manager, 112,000 pre sales, 78,717. I know that SAP had some pre sales positions going this year. Uh, so, lots of uh, opportunities. If you wanted to go into BI, you could become a, a business intelligence um, consultant, earning about up to 58,000 or possibly more if you're a, a consultant at a big company like Capgemini. Uh, so lots of opportunities that come from this and the skills you, you pick up here will will stand you in good stead for a career in a lot of different areas. And it doesn't have to be IT related, it's just that you're in an IT company and supporting it with a range of different roles. Well worth thinking about. Great company, SAP and Ditto Oracle. Uh, we'll visit the SAP UK headquarters. There's a free coach trip to what's called Experience SAP. Uh, so this is the UK headquarters building. It's up near the M25, M3 junction. Uh, on the bottom right, you see one of the trips we did previously as we were leaving um, in the SAP reception. Uh, the Experience SAP Center, there's a video at the bottom. So if you, if that, you uh, run that link, effectively it will tell you all about it. But there are these multimedia booths, there are electronically reconfigurable rooms uh, you can drive a virtual racing car you can look at how SAP replenishes the world in cases of hurricanes and that kind of thing um, so lots and lots to do practically but we'll also get you to do a design thinking workshop where you'll work on a problem that a company has set so uh, that day we effectively leave uh, Portsmouth at about 8.15, get back about 5, 5.30, and then the rest of the day is spent at SAP, which starts at 10 o'clock. Well worth going on. But there is a, a limited number of places, so uh, uh, sign up quickly if you, if you do want to do that. So basically, uh, Enterprise Resource Planning Systems, or ERPS, that's U23849, um, it's part of the SAP Next Gen initiative within the um, business school. Um, so you can play a part in the world of real-time business. That's our aim, really. Um, we've built relationships through the SAP Next Gen Innovation Lab with lots of the biggest companies who provide us with problems for you to solve. There will be some inner jams uh, running in Consolidation Week. So again, there's some fun, fun stuff to do there, and you will be given real world tasks to solve um, in a more real world setting where you're not where, where you're given a question and then you have to work in groups to solve the problem um, so why not give ERPS a, a go um, you'll give yourself a big opportunity to grow assisted by helpful staff uh, who care that you're ready for the workplace uh, so thanks very much for listening <laughs>